Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Nsangin from Techno Buffalo, and Apple on Monday introduced a new version of OS X called El Capitan, which introduced a lot of cool new features that focuses on the overall user experience and performance. OS X El Capitan gives you even simpler, smarter ways to do things you do most with your Mac. Improvements under the hood makes your Mac snappier and more efficient in all kinds of everyday tasks, from opening PDFs to accessing your email. We've been playing with it for a few hours now, and here are some of the new stuff we found. One of the coolest and most useful new feature is the ability to quickly find your mouse cursor. Now, when you don't know where your mouse cursor is, you can wiggle your mouse or move your finger across your trackpad and the cursor will get larger, making it easy to pick out in a sea of windows and text. Number two is the enhanced spotlight and in-app searching. Spotlight is smarter than ever before, delivering results for weather, sports, stocks, web videos, and transit information. You can even search for files using natural language, so when you're looking for something, just type it the way you'd say it. You can also resize and move Spotlight anywhere on your desktop now, which is definitely a nice addition. In app, you're looking at a more intelligent search that responds to what you type. For example, you can search within Finder to bring up all the pictures you shot for a certain product or all the screenshots you took on your computer. Number three are the new Safari improvements. Safari receives some pretty nifty features as well, including this awesome new feature called Pin Sites. If you have a lot of tabs open in Safari that you always use, like YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, you can simply drag the tab to the left and Safari will turn that page into a pin site. It doesn't matter if you close the Safari window on accident, your pin sites will remain untouched. Another great feature for Safari is the ability to mute the annoying audio that plays in your tabs. For example, you start hearing something play in the background and you have no clue what's playing. You'll now have a new speaker icon in the address bar that gives you a quick way to mute the sound. Number four is a new mission control and split view mode. Apple's new mission control makes it easier to see and organize everything you have open on your Mac. You can now drag any application to the top of your desktop to launch the new mission control. And from there, you can drag an app to its own space to have its own window, but you can also drag it to a new desktop to create a new virtual desktop. There's also a new split view mode. For example, we have a Safari on its own window in full screen. We can drag an app like Mail and activate split view. Number five are the new Mail features. El Capitan has tweaked the full screen view of Mail 2, giving users some handy features for Mail composition. For example, when you minimize an email midway through, you won't have to go through your drafts anymore to get it back. It now simply goes to the bottom of your Mail window, letting you continue when you're ready. Plus, you can now add tabs to your new message window, meaning you can compose multiple email messages simultaneously. Number six is the new Notes app. Just like in iOS 9, the new Notes app in El Capitan is better than before. You can now embed photos and use rich formatting, add checklists, and the overall UI just looks much cleaner than before, which almost makes it like a very simple version of Pages, as you're no longer limited to just typing in text with the most basic formatting abilities. Last but not least are the performance increases. Apple focused on performance with El Capitan, saying it'll make all sorts of elements of OS X run faster. Apps will launch 1.4 times faster, while switching between apps will be two times faster than before. It'll also be twice as fast to display the first of your mail messages, while opening PDF files and preview will be four times faster. Additionally, Apple is adding Metal to OS X for Macs. Metal is a core graphics technology that gives apps and their developers more direct access to the GPU. Now, this will allow for faster and more efficient rendering performance across the system. And that's not just for mobile games. In fact, Apple claims Metal for OS X El Capitan will offer 40% rendering improvement and a 10 times draw call performance increase, which means we'll see better performance and better looking games on Macs in the near future. There's a ton more that Apple didn't get to cover, like a redesigned disk utility, shared link extensions, suggested events, and find my friends widget. This is just the first developer preview of Mac OS X El Capitan, so a lot of what we're showing you today could potentially change, and if there are any major changes in the future, we'll be sure to keep you guys in the loop. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.